Guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so um, let's. I'm going to talk more about the Surface. A few people are asking me a lot of questions about the Surface. It's going to come free with your kit. I'm telling you right now, we are the only company that gives you a free Surface. You get a free Surface with your kit. So this is the Surface for the kit size. Uh, for the one quart kit that paints for 50 to 100. Now mind you, the surface is four feet high, 13 feet wide. Now the reason why it's that wide is because we give you the option of cutting your own ratio size. So you have 4.3, 16.9, 16.10, 230, 235.1, 239.1. So it's up to you on how you wanna cut your ratio size, that's up to you. Now if you were to go to Carl's, not to put them down or anything, or go to any other company that sells blackout cloth, I guarantee you they're gonna charge you for the size of that blackout cloth and they will charge you extra for the ratio size. You get a cheaper screen that's 4.3 over a screen that's 16.9 or 16.10. And we all know what 235 and 239 are gonna cost you, so let's not talk about that craziness. All right, so with our kits, you are gonna get a, um, a surface uh, that, let's just let's back it up, let's make it a little bit more, let's add more detail into this. One quart kit, $368, that will paint up to a 50 to 100, 100 inch. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> You notice the coat isn't that bad anymore, but it's still there. Um, with that kit, you will be getting the paint rollers, replacement rollers, you will be getting the drop cloth, you will be getting the paint tape, paint can opener, the surface as yes, and also too, you'll be getting a set of free neon LED lights to light up your kit, your screen if you want. It's up to you on how you want to do it. Now, for those of you who rent, <laughs> you're thinking, okay, that means I'll have to go to Home Depot, <laughs> I'll have to pick up a, a screen, I'll have to carry it into the house, um, you know, some people are good with this, some people are not. So we're trying to feel everybody out. We're trying to basically cater to everybody. So say if you're trying to figure, okay, we're a hundred inch screen in the house, I'll probably have to go to Home Depot, get a large piece of wood or whatever, and bring this into the house. Some people, this is easy for them. Some people, this would be harder. For those of you that would be harder, this kit comes with a free surface, which means you can design your own fixed frame projection screen if you choose. Now this is the surface right here. This comes with the um, the uh, the um, the 100 inch screen, the one quart kit. This is, like I say, the screen is four feet high and about 13 feet long. Now for the two quart kit that will paint up to 120 to 150, that screen size is 75 inches high and 12 feet long. All our screens are between 12 and 13 feet to give you the option choice of choosing your own ratio size. Now for the screen size for the big 180, <coughs> sorry about that. That screen size is, <coughs> sorry about that people. That screen size is nine feet high, 12 feet across. Yeah, it is freaking huge. Trust me, it is huge. Look, you can see it right here. My screen is eight feet, and eight and a half feet high, 12 feet across. So this is how big my screen is. 1610 right now, I'm doing right now. All right, so, uh, so here's the thing. What the customer was asking, like, okay, um, uh, when, we, um, when, we, when he coats this, he wants to be to take the screen off and transport it. <laughs> you can transport it as long as you roll the screen. The reason why we stopped pre-treating the screen and, 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 and selling them because to sell, send a screen, just put it away, send a screen to Dubai that's only <coughs> four, 54 inches high would cost us an easy $370. Around UK, around 250 So we had to use this surface as it was a memory surface. It folds up, allows us to be compact the screen, ship anywhere we want. Problem is the screen had some imperfections in the screen and this became a problem. So now we have it broken down to a roll on screen, which means you can just roll it on with a paint roller and you're done. Now how easy is it to do that? And the down below, I'm going to put down the uh, demonstration on how I painted this screen and also two of me hitting the screen with the garden hose outside 641 in the, in the, um, in the evening, showing you that the screen is fully weatherproof. <coughs> Bear with me, people. I'm dying here. All right, so, um, so <laughs> sorry about this. This is the surface right here. <coughs> mm. I got it this morning. I was feeling fantastic. It's like it wants to kick back. Every once in a while, I wants to go. I'm coming back. I refuse to leave your body. But yeah, so okay. So let me show you right here. Sorry about all the coughing. You know, like I said, I'm going through a bad cold, and I worked through it. I mean, anybody who's watched my video demonstrations, I literally worked through all my demonstrations from the beginning of being sick to the end. I even had YouTubers telling me to get some rest, but I have so much work I have to do. I can't. <coughs> so. This is a staple gun you can use. 
You can use automatic or manual, it's up to you. Doesn't make a difference what size staples you're using. These are the brackets you're gonna to use to put your screen together right here. So I'm going to come over here and show you. Now this is the surface once I had cut it and applied it to the wood frame. The frame is very easy to build. Uh, also too, in the bottom of the comment section, please check out, there's gonna be a tutorial video showing you how to build your own frame. Very easy to do. Now, and when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, they will cut the, cut the uh, strips for you if you don't have the tools to cut it. <coughs> so basically right here, as you can see, there's my L brackets. Just repeat the same thing from here to here. If, you're, if, you, if you want the screen set where you don't want to see any lines in the corner, if you, you know, if that's up to you how you want it, you can just take another L bracket such as this and just stick it right there. And <coughs> that'll lock the screen in. And that way you don't have to have it on this side either. You don't have to have it on the outside. All right, so also too, if you're doing, if you're doing a much bigger screen and you have to have a line in the middle for support, very simply just place it right here and you just put the piece of wood and you just lock it like so. So it's very easy to use. So with these kits, you're gonna get your own surface that's gonna come with it. Because if you, know, if you can't figure out what you want to <laughs> paint your, uh, your, use our, our Crystal Edge technology screen paint on. Well, now you have it because the surface does come with it. Now, this is the surface once it's done. Once you paint it, it takes somewhere around uh, 10 to 20 minutes for the screen to paint. Very <laughs> easy to do. I'll put that um, information up on at the bottom of the uh, comment section for you to check out for yourself. And that's the finished result when you're done. So, you're seeing this is it in the raw material. This is once you paint it. And this is the finished product. And like I said, basically putting your frame together, very easy. You can use a power drill, manual, it doesn't make a difference. Scissors, because you just want to cut out your material. <coughs> and that's basically about it, and you're done. Very easy to do. Now, recap at the bottom of the comment section, I will be putting a link for the demonstration on how I painted this screen. I'll put the demonstration at the bottom. And the screen's marked up pretty bad when I painted it, so you, there's no priming, no sanding required, just to let you know. But I'll put that at the bottom of the comment section. Also, too, I'll put down the how to build a frame at the bottom of the comment section. And uh, there's a couple other things I might put down there, too. I don't remember what they were, but yeah, so that's how easy it is. So for anyone who's thinking that I can't do this, I'm not a builder, I'm not a painter. Yes, you can. You can do this. It's not that hard. You can have your ultimate home theater screen in your home. And if you rent and you can't paint your walls, well, guess what? You have the surface right there. The surface is right there in your kit. So it's all there. Everything is there to have your ultimate screen. So, oh, and just to add really quick, let me show you something. These are my sample sheets. So this is my sample sheet of... Supernova, that's Supernova right there. I'll show you how amazing these things are. My sample sheet right there. Now that's my screen against the Supernova. Now mind you, this is the Supernova. Now to put them down is a screen for a hundred inch is in the price range of three to four thousand dollars. Crystal H technology screens, one hundred inch, three hundred and sixty-eight dollars. And some people say, hey, well look. You're standing on an angle because these screens have a narrow viewing angle. There you go. Let's get the Dark Star 9. That might stick, it might not stick. I had problems with that screen all day. There we go, right in front. Angle gain on my screen, flawless. Look at this. This would be the Cinema Gray 5. Cinema Gray D5. <laughs> so not only are you getting an amazing screen for an amazing price, but you also have a screen that can outperform some of the high-end screens on the market. This is my screen in the kitchen. Now look at this, in the kitchen. It's my refrigerator. This is what I see in the kitchen. This is how amazing my screen, all the lights are on. And this is our screens compared to some of the top screens on the market. 
Okay guys, well I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch my demonstrations. I hope you enjoyed it. I try to give you guys as much information as possible to give you the very best when it comes to your projection screen home entertainment. I'd like to thank you all for watching.